Hi everyone and welcome to the Friday, Saturday or Sunday live. <laughs> uh, you know, and we're coming near to the holidays. So today we're going to talk about uh, one of the greatest gifts that we can give. It's better to give than to receive. But first we're going to say a little prayer. We need God for everything. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, you taught the hearts of the faithful. By the light of your Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit, we may be truly wise and always rejoice in his consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, uh, the greatest gift that we can give, or one of the greatest gifts we can give, is a gift to God. After all, it is His birthday, and although we gift each other things, that's nice and that's showing love, but nothing's greater than gifting the baby Jesus because it is His birthday and He should be the one receiving gifts. And so what gift can we give Him? A better version of ourselves or at least improvement, improvement in areas that we need improving. So this is the time to maybe get organized and uh, clean out uh, garages, clean out closets, purge things that you don't use or that you don't need. Less is best. Uh, at least you can find things that way. <laughs> and uh, so, but also clean up our act. Uh, when we do something wrong, just own up to it and say sorry. Uh, there's no need for explanation. Uh, there's no need for, because when we say, do we ever tell our boss, oh, uh, I'm sorry that I'm late. I forgot. No, we just say sorry that I'm late. And when we confess, do we say, um, I lied because of this and that and this and that. Uh, no, we just simply say, I lied. Or do we say, he told me to lie? No, they talked about that in church, how when Adam and Eve ate the apple, Adam blamed Eve and Eve blamed the serpent. After all, they did eat the apple and nobody put a gun to their head, so... Um, but it's not just that we blame each other or we blame someone else we don't want to own up but we also blame the environment it wasn't my fault is what we're saying when we say oh it was too dark I couldn't see but see there's always something we can do better we can shine a light from our phone most of us have our phone on us and so as, as much as we want to believe that we are not at fault, we have to remember that God asked us to be humble. And so if, if we focus on listening to God and what He wants, then it doesn't matter w about defending our position or justifying our actions that are or our faults. It, it would matter more pleasing God, not being right. And that's where we want to get. That's what we hope to give God for, for Christmas. Because when we choose God's way, we're kinder to each other. And we love each other better. We uh, uh, and just look for any opportunity to be humble. Let's say somebody's giving you juice cups with lids that are too big. And they keep doing that. You want to say you need to get lids that fit, but stop for a moment and take every opportunity to be humble and say, you think it's possible that you can get some lids that fit this cup? Uh, those are three o'clock prayers. I know the song that people have this impression that that song is a different thing, but I hear church and I hear God in that song I, I see God in a lot of things even music even music that people think is bad or people that people think is bad I still see God in them I see the good in them I have a hard time seeing the bad and that's my bad that's my fault I get fooled sometimes because of that but that's okay God takes care of me 
prayers uh, that reminds me three o'clock prayers are very nice the mercy chaplet we can give god that you know just um start a prayer regimen that you do consistently and be diligent uh make sure that if you ask god to help you prioritize things then you'll be diligent and you'll be doing the things that you need to do and if you pray the more you pray the more god is open to you and the more you will receive feel his grace and sometimes even see his face so it's it's worth it uh just you know to be humble uh to to give of self to pray more to seek god and maybe read the bible uh, if you don't read the bible then there's things you can find in google and maybe some facebook pages you can subscribe to religious groups and they'll post things that are from the bible also you can ask to receive the daily reading you can get an email a daily email in the morning for the daily reading and psalm and little by little you read the bible that way and the best way is actually to go to church every day uh you'll eventually get the bible the entire bible if you go to church every day but there's something about the written word i think that god uses what's in the environment to communicate with us and the biggest thing he uses is the bible i mean he can use the alexa yeah she's right next to me so that's good that she stayed quiet uh, oh you can play the psalms <laughs> it's called you version rest thank you alexa Uh, I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> Please don't listen to me. Don't spy on me. Anyhow, uh, the Psalms keep the demons away is what a saint said. Uh, also, you can do the sign of the cross a hundred times a day. keeps the demons away. And a saint also said that. Uh, if you do the cross three times, if, try to remember it some way to do the cross. I like to do it when I see repetitive numbers. And if each time you say, I love you, God, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. The more you say I love you, the more you love them. Well, something's bound to work. Either the demons go away or you love God more. So it's a win-win situation. Though, lately God has told me to say I love you too, God. I love you too, Jesus. I love you too, Holy Spirit. I mean, I think that's what he told me. It's a thought that came into my mind and I don't think it's from the enemy. So, anyhow, just, uh, you know, it helps if we think before we speak so we can be humble and say the right thing and react the right way just make it a habit always when something is directed at you you just simply say you're sorry who cares if you felt that you had reason uh it doesn't feel good when you when we explain the reason or does it make the person that's saying it feel good and god is unity and god is love so be helpful with each other and if if you see that something is somebody didn't do their job just do it for them and and try to be helpful and it's i know it's hard but the devil tries to uh trigger us in knowing our weaknesses he's very observant and he uses our loved ones and so just uh remember to be gentle to be gentle and tender like our sweet mother and jesus and and just sacrifice of self make yourself very little and learn to tell yourself no deny yourself and so if if you practice those things that will that will help you better please god and and that would be the one of the greatest gifts is to work towards his will and walk his way and observe all his uh, rules and commandments and abide by his precepts and so I, I mean I think that's what he would love best and because when we do it God what God asks us to do eventually he does establish our steps and gives us the right ideas and there will be harmony and peace within our family but it, it takes it takes work it takes you know self denial and and the hard work is resisting temptation and rebuking evil and 
but you gain the strength by seeking God he said seeking you shall find you go to church and you pray you're seeking and prayer opens his heart remember he sends his angels to protect us so have no fear and be courageous and know that God is all God is already here he's he's um transforming lives and opening eyes so just count on him to to get to lead the way uh, all you need is ask as you will receive he says so let's try to give god a gift and let's what greater gift than you and me so let him know we love him almost as much as he loves us so start with prayer and don't forget God loves you so be blessed stay safe in this holidays remember much love and love each other that's what makes the world go around don't don't lose hope I know it's hard but God's mercy is grand and he's with us. Just keep the faith. Thank you. And have a beautiful day.